Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best Mark II weapons in GTA Online. But before we jump straight into the video, let's try and hit 5 likes as it shows your support for my channel. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now first of all guys, to actually buy Mark II weapons, you guys will need to buy one of the following vehicles from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. You guys are going to need either the Terabyte, the Avenger, the Mobile Operations Center or the Kasatka. All of these vehicles do actually have a weapons workshop that you guys can actually purchase as you are upgrading your vehicle. One other way you guys can actually access a weapon workshop is through the Casino Heist. If you guys have an arcade and you actually get a Casino Heist Finale set up, then you guys can actually access a weapon workshop in your arcade. But now that's all out of the way, we can actually move on to the fifth weapon in this list, and that is going to be the Marksman Rifle Mark II. Now the Marksman Rifle Mark II is actually a really reliable weapon. I will be going through all of my attachments on this weapon as well, so you guys can mix and match if you want. Starting things off with the magazine, I'd just like to use the extended clip. I have messed around with the incendiary rounds and also the armor piercing rounds. Both of these rounds are actually really good and quite effective, but if you guys are going to be using these rounds, you will actually be sacrificing a lot of your ammo capacity. So in my opinion, I don't think that's really that worth it, so I just went for the extended clip. Moving down to the flashlight, I don't actually use the flashlight, I don't see a point in using it either. It doesn't really help with any of the stats, for example damage, fire rate, accuracy and range. If anything, it just takes a little bit of your range off. Moving on down to the scopes, we have a holographic sight, a large scope and also a zoom scope. Now I have tried the holographic sight and this is actually really decent. If you guys use the holographic sight on this weapon, you guys can actually lock onto people in game just like it was a AR weapon or something. But in my opinion, I think the zoom scope actually fits this weapon and just suits it more in general. But if you guys have the money, definitely try out the holographic sight and see what you guys think. Moving on to muzzles now, I just like to use the last muzzle. I don't think it really makes a massive difference what muzzle you actually use here. I think it might improve your accuracy or range, maybe the slightest bit, but it's not really that noticeable I don't think. Moving down to the grips, there's only one grip available, so we'll actually just be using this. And then for the barrels, there is a default barrel and also a heavy barrel. We will be using the heavy barrel to get a nice little range buff. I also think using the heavy barrel with the zoom scope is actually really good for this weapon. But that's all my attachments I use on the Maxman Rifle Mark II. We will now be moving down to number 4 in the list. Now number 4 in the list, we actually have the Combat MG Mark II. Now this selection might actually throw some of you guys off, because this weapon is really really strong. Once again, we will be going over some attachments for this. Starting things off with a magazine, we have the extended clip. Now I have tried the armor piercing rounds for this weapon and also the full metal jacket rounds. Out of the armor piercing rounds and also the FMJ rounds, I do actually think the armor piercing rounds are actually better. But once again with these magazines, you actually do lose a lot of your ammo capacity, so I just tend to go back to the extended clip. And also in my opinion, I think the weapon's strong enough anyway as it is. You don't even need the magazine for this. Moving on to the grips guys, we only have one grip again, so we're going to be just choosing this. Next we have some scopes, we have a holographic sight once again, a medium scope and also a large scope. Now I like to run with the large scope as it'll help our range a little bit. And for example if I do use first person to actually shoot, then having the large scope will actually help me with a bit more range. Coming down to the muzzles, I do like to use the last muzzle again, I don't really think it actually makes a difference compared to the other muzzles, but I'd recommend trying at least one of them out. Now moving down to the barrels, we only have two options for this, we have the default barrel and all also the heavy barrel, obviously we're going to be picking the heavy barrel because it'll help our range and for some reason I think it actually helps the damage a lot. That is all my attachments for the Combat MG Mark II, I would highly recommend that you guys try that out. And now we're going to move down to number 3 on the list. Now coming in at number 3 on the list we have the Heavy Sniper Mark II. This might throw some of you guys off as well because most people actually use this weapon religiously and because of how strong the weapon actually is with its damage and one shot kill potential, it's a weapon you sort of need in GTA Online nowadays because you won't be able to compete with other online players actually using this sniper against you. But starting things off with the magazines, we have the default clip, the extended clip, the incendiary rounds, the armor piercing rounds, the FMJ rounds and finally the explosive rounds. Now there's a wide variety to actually choose from in the magazine section here. As you guys can see on screen, I have actually tried every single attachment for this. 
Just like the guns before, I just like to use the extended clip, but the armor piercing rounds, the FMJ rounds and the explosive rounds are all really, really good. In a way, I think it just depends on the situation you guys are in, in an online session or even a mission. For example, if you guys are doing a heist or something and you need to use a sniper for some reason, then FMJ rounds or armor piercing rounds are probably the one you want. Or if you guys are just trying to blow up vehicles and everything like that, or just kill people really fast, then the explosive rounds are very good for that. But the explosive rounds ammo pool is actually really low, so if you guys are using explosive rounds, expect to actually keep buying ammo from the weapon workshop. Moving down to the scopes now, we have the zoom scope, the advanced scope, the night vision scope, and finally the thermal scope. Now the best scope I actually recommend is the advanced scope right now. I just think it's got the cleanest sight on it, but the thermal scope is probably my second favourite in this list because you guys will be able to literally see anything through the thermal scope. The reason I don't think the thermal scope is the best scope is because you guys can actually just use the thermal goggles now and then actually snipe through the advanced scope so it just makes sense to do that instead. But moving down to the muzzles now guys, I like to use the last muzzle once again. I think this is just the same with every single weapon in this list. I have actually tried using the suppressor before but I don't think the damage is actually as good. And now finally moving down to the barrels, we have the default barrel once again and also the heavy barrel. Now we're just going to be using the heavy barrel, this is going to give us the most advantage out of this gun. And if you guys can see them stats with the damage, fire rate, accuracy and range, our damage, accuracy and range are all capped out pretty much. So yeah guys, definitely try that out. Moving on to number 2 on the list now, we have the Pump Shotgun Mark 2. Now quite a lot of people don't actually know about this weapon and don't understand how strong this weapon is. The attachments I'm going to be showing you guys in this video for this weapon are actually going to be the best and you guys will be able to one shot kill people literally most of the time with this weapon and I think the weapon is actually so broken. Now starting things off with the ammo types, I like to use the explosive slugs, now the explosive slugs make this weapon just an absolute joke. If you guys find yourself in a situation where you're in close quarters combat and you pull out this weapon, you guys are going to be getting one shot kills if you guys are running the explosive slugs. Because we are using explosive slugs, we're not going to be getting the max ammo for this weapon, but we still get 40 rounds of this, so it is actually really good. Moving down we have a flashlight attachment, now I don't use flashlights on pretty much all of my guns. But if you guys want to, you can actually just try that out. I don't know if it helps or makes the gun worse or anything, so make sure to let me know if you do in the comments. Moving down to the scopes, we have a holographic sight, a small scope, a medium scope, and just no attachment. I like to run with the medium scope, I just feel like it gives it more range, and I would actually recommend the medium scope. Moving down to the muzzles now, we have no attachment once again, we have suppressor and muzzle brake. Now for this, I like to run with muzzle brake, I just think it's probably the best here. People like to use suppressor on the shotgun and I don't really know why. I am pretty sure that the suppressor negatively impacts your gun, so I'd probably stay clear of the suppressor. But that's all my attachments for the Pump Shotgun Mark 2. Definitely try this out if you guys have the money to actually upgrade your pump shotgun. But anyway guys, we're going to move down to number 1 on the list now. And coming in at number 1, we have the Heavy Revolver Mark 2. Now this gun all around just does everything. It can one shot people from pretty much all ranges nearly. And if you guys use Bull Shark Testosterone and Game, then this weapon actually just becomes unreal. But jumping straight into the attachments, for the ammo types, we are going to be using the hollow point rounds. Now I have experimented with the FMJ rounds before, but the hollow point rounds actually do more damage to people not wearing any body armor, so it's definitely worth your while actually getting this. And with this ammo type, you actually will be getting a lot of ammo. And unlike the explosive slugs on the last weapon, you actually need to get ammo all the time. But it also depends on how much you actually use this weapon. Moving down to the scopes now, I like to use the small scope. You can actually use the holographic sight as well, but I think the small scope actually adds range to this weapon, which is just even better. A small scope definitely helps when you're trying to kill people on oppressors. Once again moving down to the flashlight attachment, I don't use this, but this attachment could be useful in certain missions for example, but that's about all. Moving on to the muzzle attachments, we have only one attachment for this and that is going to be the compensator. We are going to be using this as well. I think the compensator goes really nice with the scope as it adds range I'm pretty sure. It might be accuracy as well. All around the compensator is a great attachment to have on this gun and it complements all the other attachments on this gun really well. And that is all the attachments on the Heavy Revolver Mark II. Now I will be showing you guys some clips of the Heavy Revolver Mark II in action against some oppressors just to show you guys how good this gun actually is. I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. Enjoy the gameplay and thanks for watching.